Kailangan pa ba gawin King Panda test to? Sige na nga. Buwan natin. Kasya tayo. So, actually kami ni Jonathan tsaka si Arthur kasya pa rito. No? Ilang case ang birang kasya dito? We asked that question kanina nung nag-live kami. Ayos siya. So, consensus is 20 cases ng birang kasya sa likod. Oh, pero pag ano, pag, uh, pag dilata, kasya 50. Kasya, no? Oh, ang moral ng story, kung marami kayong iinom, bumili kayo ng nakalata. Huwag nakabote. Kasi hindi ko na kayo bibigyan ng battle opener. Malamang babarating nyo yung presyo, eh, kaya wala na kayong battle opener. Bumili kayo ng LC. Exactly. Wala kayo nalaglag sa mga mo, camera mo? Wala, wala. <laughs> Sana, wala. <laughs> Alright guys, so welcome back to the channel. This is King Panda for Luxury Cars Manila. And today we have two very, very special cars. It's, it, it, it's probably one of the most nostalgic cars because back when we were all growing up, all our dads had Land Cruisers, especially the BJ40, if you remember, yung <laughs> uh, uso dati, yung kakambal ng kotseng Cuba, di ba? Ito yung counterpart niya, yung Land Cruiser, yung two-door na kwadrado na BJ40. No? So, we grew up with these cars and it's something that it brings us back to our childhood days. And it's something that we can share with our parents, especially with our dads who, who, who are also car buffs. Di ba? Kahit hindi ka car buff actually, because you see it on the road all the time. So, today, we have two very special vehicles. 2021, 2022 na tayo ngayon, but 2021 is the 70th anniversary of the Toyota Land Cruiser. Now, why? Let me bring you guys back to history, how the Land Cruiser actually started. Back in 1941-1942, when the Japanese invaded the Philippines, at that time, there was the, uh, the Americans were also here, no? They had what you call the Willys Jeep, kung naaalala nyo. Yung mga pampasahero ho natin Jeep ngayon at saka yung mga owner. Diyan po nang galing yan, sa Willys, no? So, fast forward, nakita po ito ng mga Hapon when they were doing reconnaissance here in the Philippines. And when these Japanese troops went back to Japan, the leader of the Japanese forces at that time ordered Toyota to build a car. Not a car, but a Jeep for their reconnaissance operations. And the AK-10 was born. Okay, so Toyota na order ng head nila sa Japan, nagayahin yung wheelies. So guys, pag sinasabi ko, halos lahat ng kotse ngayon, ginagaya. Huwag kayong magagalit because totoo yun. Ngayon, nagagalit kayo on China, ginagaya yung mga ganito, ganito. Guys, back then, yung pinakapaborito yung Land Cruiser ay ginaya yung mga kano. So, huwag tayong masyadong colonial mentality dahil sila nag-colonize sa atin. So, anyway, politics aside, the Land Cruiser was born in 1951. Okay, fast forward na yan. Kalimutan na natin yung gera. Tapos na. So they started building in 1951. But in 1954, the U.S. filed a lawsuit against the Japanese for design or copyright infringement or something of that sort. So, the Land Cruiser name was born in 1954. But the first Land Cruiser was actually built in 1951. Hence, 2021 being the 70th anniversary. Now, this is the, I believe, 10th generation of the, uh, 
of this uh, of this model. I know. Ever since 1951 to 2019, and this number is verified through Wikipedia. You guys can Google it. The Land Cruiser has sold over 10 million units worldwide. It's the number one selling model in the Toyota lineup. Kaya tayo mga Pinoy, very, very close to our heart ang Land Cruiser. Kasi dyan tayo lumaki. Right? So, these two models brings us back to our childhood days. This is the 70 series, which is, ito yung tinatawag nilang LC76, which is the five-door wagon version. This is the LC71 that they call the three-door version. Now, we have two different variants here, and we have two different engines. This one being a 4.5-liter turbo diesel V8, mated with a five-speed manual transmission, and we also have a four-liter V6 petrol engine that's also mated with a five-speed manual transmission. The LC70 series does not come in automatic transmission. Alam mo tayo mga Pinoy eh. Boss, may matic ba niyan? Pag manual. Pag, man, pag matic naman. Boss, mayroon bang conventional niyan? Eh, hindi ko magets eh. Bakit ganun? Pag gasolina, gusto diesel. Pag diesel, gusto gasolina. O ngayon, meron tayo isang diesel, meron tayo isang gasolina. So it comes in two different engines. You know? Now, this is the 70th anniversary edition of the 70 series. 70 of 70. Such an iconic statement for a truly iconic car. Now, what makes the 70th anniversary so different from every other 70 series being sold in the market? It only comes in three different colors. We don't have the third color today. This is called the Sandy Taupe. This one is called French Vanilla. I don't know, kasi pag nagkakape ako, nilagyan ko ng vanilla. Jonathan, di naman ganito kulay. Kasi ito, parang maraming, parang pag napasobra yung carnation mo na coffee creamer, o kaya yung 3-in-1, di ba? Yung 3-in-1, pag sumobra ka ng coffee creamer, di naman, di naman mukhang vanilla. Eh. Pero anyway, they call it French vanilla. Siguro sa France, ang vanilla nila, kulay puti. Di natin alam. But anyway, it's French vanilla. And we have Merlot Red. Now, we didn't buy the red car because that's a whole different story. <laughs> but this comes in a five-door, a three-door, and a pickup version, which is the LC79. Now, the LC79, I believe, comes in a two-door and a four-door cab version as well. Okay? So this is a 70 series. Now, what is so different about the 70th anniversary? Now, first of all, it comes with standard winch the Toyota winch. It comes with painted fenders. It comes with 17-inch alloy painted wheels in black. As you can see, both of them have black wheels. It has the classic, classic Land Cruiser script writing. And it only comes in one color interior, rust. And majority I would say majority, I think all of the 70 series vehicles come in cloth interior. This comes in soft rust leather interior. Okay, so obviously the steering wheel is different. It looks like a regular LC200 Land Cruiser steering wheel. Um, it has a host of amenities like Bluetooth, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. Um, medyo advanced na siya. This is not the most comfortable vehicle to drive, but it's actually the most durable, the most eye-catching, the most historical, and the most nakakatayo ng balahibo experience. Why? Because just driving one of these cars and, and seeing it on the road is just something to be captivated with. Okay? So, you look there's this this car is fully loaded it comes with a factory roof rack which is an accessory it comes with Land Cruiser this is um, honestly hindi ko alam kung ano to eh hindi naman siya battle opener kasi sobrang laki so 
Hindi natin alam kung ano to, but anyway, I think it's a grab handle. So when you actually want to step up and get something from the roof, you can use this. No? Comes with a tire carrier. Down. Kailangan pa ba gawin King Panda test to? Sige na nga. Buwan natin. Kasya tayo. So, actually kami ni Jonathan at si Arthur kasya pa rito. No? No, Art, Arthur. So, it has a huge trunk space. Obviously, the three-door version has a smaller trunk space because it doesn't have enough room. No? But the five-door version actually has a bigger trunk space. Ilang case ang birang kasya dito? We asked that question kanina nung nag-live kami. Merong 100. I think yung 100 na sinasabi niya, yun ang cases ng COVID dun sa barangay nila. Eh. So, hindi cases ng beer yun. But I think, uh, ilan? Tingin mo ilang kasya dito case ng beer? Buta na may question pa, in-can pa o ano? Hindi case yun, lata yun. Ano, il ilang kasya dito? Tingin mo. Pumasok ka nga sa loob, Arthur. Tingnan naman, pumasok ka sa loob. Sumakay ka sa loob. Ah. Ilan? Puta, tagal mo naman magbilang eh. 20 case daw. Ano yun? Lata o bote? Yung case? Ah, okay. Case ng ano? Beer. Bote yun. Pag lata, ilan ang kasya? Mas marami. Mas marami. Kasya, marami. So, pag, lat, pag, pag case ng beer, mga 20, no? Eh, pag sinama pa natin sa roof rack, mga isang daan. Sige, ayos yan. So, consensus is 20 cases ng beer ang kasya sa likod. No? Pero pag ano, pag, uh, pag dilata, kasya 50. Kasya, no? Oh, ang moral ng story, kung marami kayong iinom, bumili kayo ng nakalata. Huwag nakabote. Kasi hindi ko na kayo bibigyan ng bottle opener. Malamang babarating nyo yung presyo eh, kaya wala na kayong bottle opener. Bumili kayo ng LC. Exactly. It comes with a factory snorkel. And yun na nakakaaliw dito. Kung medyo aanga-anga ka sa gabi. Hindi <laughs> ka, ma <laughs> ka makakatapak ng ebak sa ano. <laughs> Meron na ilaw. <laughs> so, pag nag... nag <laughs> galing ka sa kotse, hindi ka basta-basta tatapag pag nakita mong basa. Or it's called the... It's called Pada Lights. You know? And it's it's a standard. Kasama yan. It comes standard in all the 70th anniversary. It comes with this factory snorkel as well. So, hindi na kayo kailangan pumunta sa accessory shop na magkabit ng snorkel. Okay. So, obviously, it comes with the very, very, very popular and very durable Land Cruiser suspension. And tingnan natin yung three-door. Now, the three-door version is exactly the same as the four-door version. Ang difference lang is mas malaki ang trunk space ng five-door. Ng five-door, no? And all the 70th anniversary models come with the 70th anniversary badging here and here as well. You will probably see this logo on some of the LC200s that will come out. LC300 pala that comes out, no? Again, the manual transmission. You also have the Toyota Land Cruiser badging here in the middle of the vehicle. All right? So, our favorite part of the show no gloves test drive so unlike other channels guys we actually test drive the cars okay so let's take this let's take this one for a ride so baka hindi kami magkasya ni jonathan dito eh. so i'll see you guys in a bit so guys we're inside a 2022 toyota land cruiser 70 series this is what they call the lc76 which is the five door version like i explained a while ago it comes with the, uh, three different variants. They have the three-door, the five-door, which is this one, and the pickup version, 
which also comes in two or four door, right? So we are test driving this car. And today we have a special guest. We have my dad in the back. So hindi tayo pwede humataw. But anyway, this only comes in manual transmission. Now, majority of the other vehicles that came are not as loaded. This already comes with a... Ilan inches to Jonathan? Seven or eight? Seven, seven and a quarter inch screen. Touch screen. So Toyota has leveled up with their radio nowadays. Dati talagang dipihit lang. Although, the air conditioning is very utilita uh, utilitarian. If you can see, yung antenna niya ganun pa rin. They have retained this antenna since the LC80. The first time I saw this antenna was in the LC80. And it's very utilitarian talaga. You have that you have the four-wheel drive selector here, the gear selector. You have your manual transmission here. Um, you can actually buy a glove compartment that goes on top of this para meron kayong armrest. But for some reason, this vehicle didn't come with it. But you can buy that aftermarket naman. It shifts very well. Although, like I said a while ago, it's not the most comfortable vehicle to drive. But, this is probably the most reliable out of all of them. Actually, ang ganda na ng suspension. No? So, here we're just gonna pull in for gas. Be power na diesel. So if you guys notice, the instrument cluster is still the same. It's very simple. You have your battery, you have your temperature gauge, you have your oil temperature, you have your gas gauge. Mama, jan blayo. Blayo, okay. Very easy to drive, ah. Iba na yung suspension niya, dada no? Ang ganda na. Oh. Sorry, di susi pala. Talagang kailangan mong bumaba eh. So always remember guys, pag magtakarga kayo ng gas, kailangan yung bumaba. Kasi di susi yung gas tank. Yes. Buti nga, naka-power windows na eh. Yung dati, buti dati, di ganun eh. Yung G-Wagon ng kapitbahay namin dati, di ganun. Nung po dumaan siya sa bahay, binaba niya yung bintana, gumanong pa siya eh. Naka G-Wagon ka, tapos di ka. Bale na, gwapo naman. Yung ba yung nakita natin siya? Ah, yun diba? Yung nakita natin. Hindi, yung nakita natin yung puti yun. Yung bago na yun. Sila J.O. Yung doon sa kabila, sa Bukanan. Kapit ba? Ang hilig sa G-Wagon. Tatlo yung G-Wagon niya. Pero luma. Tsaka dad, this is first time leather ah ginamit. Synthetic leather, pero it's still leather. Diba? Usually, LC76, 70 series, cloth, eh. Color of choice nila. Rust. Classic. Actually, yung galing nila, daddy, yung yung lahat ng colors nila, isang interior lang. Rust lang. 
Dito lahat. Basta 70th anniversary, rust lang lahat. Walang ano. Hindi ka makapili. Okay. Ayun, buhay na naman siya. Same engine ng LC to dad eh. 200? Hmm. Although may mga nag-import dad ah. Sa States oh. May mga nag-import sa kanya. Tapos sa... Uh, na EPA na lang. Pero yung gasolina. Kasi may makikita ako sa mga Land Cruiser Clubs eh. Alright guys, so we're back. So this is the treacherous stretch of Katipunan Avenue we call the Divisoria Streets kasi parang dinaanan ng landmines dito so majority of our test drives we do here and believe it or not I am biting my tongue because the car actually drives very smooth um, as much as I thought that it was going to be uncomfortable and bouncy like how the Hilux is because yung mga lumang LC70 series when you drive it it's very rough it's very um tawag dito it's a it's, it's, it's a utility vehicle talaga in, in a lot of countries guys these are this is not a luxury car okay dito lang sa Pilipinas luxury car ito bakit? because it's so damn expensive you know it's, it's so damn expensive to import vehicles here in the Philippines so we treat these as luxury cars because not everybody can afford it. If you go to the Middle East, these cars are dime a dozen. Okay, and by the way, diesels don't exist in Saudi. Majority of the diesel vehicles are purchased either in Egypt or Iran, Iraq, or other neighboring Middle Eastern countries. But if you go to Dubai and anywhere in UAE, majority of vehicles there are gas powered why because gas is so cheap in those parts of the world diba? so this is a diesel version like i said it's a 4.5 liter v8 it has the same engine as your favorite land cruiser lc200 um, so it's very powerful very torquey very capable and what i'm so impressed with is what they did with the suspension i mean it was so funny because we had a client last year who purchased a free door from us and he didn't like the way it rode so he had to spend another i think 140 150 000. he ended up putting a old man emo in front and bp bp 51 suspension in the back and when i test drove his uh, his uh, lc71 it actually rode night and day it rode a lot better so now driving this 2022 lc76 i'm starting to realize that it drives the same as his upgraded suspension three door so i think another another thing that you might want to consider even with the price difference on this vehicle is that matino siya, mabait i-drive. Hindi na siya sobrang rough ang suspension, unlike before, no? Um, obviously, it's GCC spec, so yung air conditioning niya, sobrang lamig. Um, you know, in the desert, we have air conditioning is very, very important when you get to about 50, 48, 50 degrees there. It's gonna fry your balls off. So, matino dad, ano? Hindi siya matalbog sa likod. Ah, mahal niya eh. Pero mabait, ano? Saan siya yung talbog niya? Medyo kung parang mas matalbog ng 20 dad. Mas matalbog dan dad. Yung bronco dad, ang bait eh. 
Grabe, oo. Parang kano eh. Makita mo yung, yung cold spring yun. Ano ba yan? Lip spring. Tingnan mo, lip spring lang mahaba. Oo. Kaya kung tumagdan sila, ganda. Long travel, ano? Iba talaga American car, American car. It's a good one, good talaga. Oo. Uh. Ayan o, oh, Prado. Pati clutch niya, hindi matigas na. Hindi na, hindi na. Ito Prado ba niya, nagdami lumabas na surplus niya ni Japan. Oo, oh, baka surplus din yun eh. Grabe, sarap o. Oh. It drives really well. So, again guys, one of the mistakes, I thought it wouldn't drive as well, it drives very well. Um, on top of the car, being such an iconic vehicle because it is the 70th anniversary edition of the Land Cruiser and being the 70th anniversary of the birth of the Land Cruiser, this is more of a rebirth. It's a special car. It's a car that you can actually drive and at the same time, maybe the, ge the next generation can enjoy. This is something you can pass down to your kids, to your grandkids. And I'm sure they're not going to sell it on eBay somewhere, on an auction site. But this is something that you can keep. So, I'm truly impressed with the car. It has all the creature comforts you need. You can drive this every day. You can stick it in your garage and not even use it. Or just stare at it every morning while you're having your cup of coffee. Diba? So, give us a call. This car is available. We have this in five-door version in three-door version in gas and we also have one that's coming in a pickup version which is the lc79 so guys give us a call this car is available 0917-463-0077 or if you have smart 0998-933-3883 again it's king panda for luxury cars manila this is absolutely a great car to own something for you to keep something for you to be proud of and uh we look forward to selling this car to you guys thanks all right guys and girls thank you very much for watching our videos please don't forget to subscribe here on our youtube channel as we give away more prizes we will be choosing more and more winners for our giveaways from our sponsors from everyone that comments on our videos. And please tell us how we're doing and tell us what you want to see on the comment section. We'd love to hear from you. Again, this is King Panda for Luxury Cars Manila. Don't forget to subscribe.